Hello, welcome to Easy Learning Academy. Today, I am going to discuss on very important topics of microeconomics and this is supply and its determinants. So let's go to the discussion. First thing, we'll have to understand what exactly determinant is. Determinant refers to that term which affects supply or which contribute to have increase or decrease in supply. The first element is cost that affects supply. If the cost of the product increase, then supply will decrease and if the cost of the product decrease, then supply will increase. Now we will learn how it works. For example, you are a seller and you make or produce markers. Today, the cost of each marker is $10 and you agreed to supply 5 units but tomorrow you found that the cost the cost of the marker decreased then what you will do obvious you are going to increase your supply because the cost of the product the cost of the marker decrease and then how it works if cost increase the supply will decrease and if cost decrease the supply will increase the second element is price of commodity price of commodity if price increase then supply will increase if price decrease then supply will decrease how it works for example again you are a seller or producer and you produce or make markers now the price of each markers today the price of each marker is ten dollar and you are supplying 20 units but tomorrow you found that the price of each marker what increased what you are going to do obviously you are going to increase your supply because yesterday you were getting ten dollar and today you were getting fifteen dollar you were getting extra five dollar for each marker so that is why you will increase your supply so if price increase then supply increase if price decrease then supply decrease so our third element is number of firm so if number of firm increase then supply will increase if number of firm decrease then supply will obviously decrease but there's a question that how we can understand that okay let's follow an example let's say you are a seller today you are a seller or producer and you produce 100 units of marker this marker so what will be the supply it's easy supply will be 100 but the next day again you are selling the same amount that means 100 units but you found that there are another seller or producer came to the market and he's also selling 100 units that means 100 plus 100 is equal to 200 supply will be 200 so whenever the number of firm the number of firm increases supply will increase whenever the number of firm decreases then supply will decrease our fourth element is taxation I know you all know about taxation but still I will give you the definition Taxation means the contribution which is paid by the citizen to the government without receiving any direct benefits. Let's say you can see roads outside of your house. So are you getting direct benefits from these roads or from the development? Uh, I don't think so. So whenever tax increase, supply decrease. Whenever tax decrease, then supply increase. Now, we we'll learn how it works. For example, today you went to a restaurant and you found that the VAT or the tax is 50% for $1,000 consume. If you consume $1,000, then you have to pay 50%. That means you'll have to pay $150. But tomorrow you again went to the same restaurant and you found that the vat is now 17 percent surprisingly the government increased the tax that means now we'll have to pay 170 
dollar so what will happen actually tax is a cost so whenever your cost will increase what you will do you will consume less so whenever you will consume less product that means this will automatically lead to decrease in supply the same thing happens in the cost if cost increase supply decrease if cost decrease supply increase so the same thing if tax increase supply will decrease if tax decrease then supply will increase thank you very much the second part of supply and its determinant is coming so please uh, subscribe our channel and put your comment in the comment box